Well, nominees for the 2020 class for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame have been announced. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Well, first of all, do you do what I do? I have a list every year of who I want to be nominated, who, who I think will be nominated. And you know, in life, sometimes we get mixed up with what we want to happen and what actually is happening. <laughs> Here's the nominees for the class of 2020. Notorious B.I.G., Whitney Houston, Pat Benatar, Dave Matthews Band, Depeche Mode, The Doobie Brothers, At Last, Judas Priest, Kraftwerk, MC5, Motorhead, Nine Inch Nails, Rufus featuring Shaka Khan, Todd Rundgren, Soundgarden, T-Rex, and Thin Lizzy. The top votes will be announced in January and the induction May 2nd at the Hall of Fame in Cleveland. To be eligible, a performer's first album has to be released in 1994 or earlier. We also got a large number of first-time nominees, including Dave Matthews Band, The Doobie Brothers, Motorhead, Notorious B.I.G., Pat Benatar, Soundgarden, T-Rex, Thin Lizzy, and Whitney Houston. Returning nominees include Kraftwerk, who've been up there for six times. MC5 have five nominations. The fourth visit for Rufus featuring Shaka Khan. Third for Nine Inch Nails and Depeche Mode. And both Judas Priest and Todd Rundgren have been nominated twice. As mentioned, fans do vote, but in the end, 1,000 artists, historians, journalists, music industry members, etc., etc., will pick the class of 2020. Every year, we post these nominations, and, well, every single year, we'll have someone saying, well, that person is not rock and roll. And I know this year it'll be like, what the heck, Notorious B.I.G., Whitney Houston. But by now we all know that it's all genres of music that encompasses their version of the term rock and roll. That's why you have R&B in there and, and the blues and multiple other genres. But if you want to comment on that, you, you, you're more than welcome to. Each year I'm really happy about one particular nominee and the Doobie Brothers, who were one of my top five bands growing up, have finally made the cut, at least for nominations. Of course, I like the Hells Angels motorcycle riding first version of the Doobie Brothers, but I also like Michael McDonald. Not as much, but starting with their second to Loose Street, huge album for me. What Were Once Vices Are Now Habits, The Captain and Me, Stampede, Taking It to the Streets. Those are the albums I rock to. Dealing with teenage angst in the mid-70s and the albums that inspired me when we all had those down days as a teenager. It's rare when you have a band that have two lead singers that are quite different in a lot of ways. Pat Simmons was the guy with the acoustic stuff and could also rock those little acoustic ditties in between those rockin' songs on the Doobie Brothers albums. Like an interlude of some type, and somehow it all worked together. It even worked when Michael McDonald was in the band. So my big takeaway from this Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nomination are the Doobie Brothers. I still want to see Toto in nominations, but they will come. It will happen. Anyone who doesn't think that certain their favorite band isn't going to get in, if they've made a mark in the history of rock and roll, it'll happen. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame paces themselves. I say this every single year. There's no way you were going to get every single huge band, for instance, in the nominations for the first year who'd be left. How do you feel about the nominations? And who do you think, in this group at least, will end up winning? You can split that up into fan votes or the final vote. Your call. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music.